initially lighting was in studios was tungsten. Very inefficient, very expensive to run because of the electricity bills and the cost of extracting the heat. Moving into fluorescent lighting in the 80s and 90s helped a little uh, because the lights are around four or five times to, uh, more efficient. But we're now moving into an era of LED lighting, which is around 10 times as efficient as tungsten. So we don't have to get rid of so much heat and the electricity bills are a lot cheaper. The only problem is the colour rendering because LEDs don't produce such good colour rendering as tungsten does. And here's the reason why. I'll show you this standard colour checker test card. The ubiquitous colour checker chart used to be known as the Macbeth chart. I'm now going to light it with a cheap LED panel from China. I can say that because there isn't a manufacturer's name on it. If you get used to how the colours look under this light, I will now use a light which has the same colour temperature but has different spectral content. It's more expensive because there are different colours involved. The problem is how do we characterise this wild difference in order to tell the manufacturers how good or bad their, their light sources are. This lighting problem isn't really about the science or the hardware, it's about money. The less you spend on the lighting, the more you're likely to spend on trying to put it right later. The more people join in with the measurement process, the more data we will get and the quicker and easier it will be to assign numbers to individual lamps before you buy them so that you will know what you're getting and know whether you're going to have trouble with them or not. Any EBU member ought to be able to do that.